Yeah. All right, we out here in Chicago. We just met today, but we already got good vibes. I'm with my guy. We're already, we're already, we're already bros. It's like, it's a pleasure. I heard you had a great collection. I'm excited to see it. We're gonna kind of just work our way around the room, and this is great. I was telling him too, like. Usually I kind of like know the backstory with a lot of people's collections and stuff. Yeah. But I really am clueless for all these things. So I'm excited for this I'm one. I'm happy you're here. Yes. I'm happy you're here, Chase. I'm happy you guys are able to come to the south side. And like I said, you know, it's, uh, don't mind me. Little, little, Chilling. It's been I 10 hours it. sneaker con. It was awesome. <laughs> yes. You know, but a nice little uh, nightcap. So. <laughs> so we always usually just start on one side of the room and work our way around and okay. just start rapid firing with all the stories and the different stuff. So cool. right here. We got a few containers on this side. Yeah. Where shall we begin? We got the Yeezy 2s right here. I see we got some more over. Yeah. Is this like a, a beater rocker pair? How's it go? Yeah, so that pair I've definitely, I've been wearing for a little while. Um, had a little bit of sole separation. Oh yeah, around the toe. Like I right here? It's here. fine, it's basic, you know? Yeah. And this is one I've been rocking a lot, but I was just in LA and, you know, I work with Jeff Hamilton. Mm -hmm. And I had seen that they had another pair of Pure Platinums at Cool Kicks, okay. size 12, and OG All. Oh, okay. So we went over there, he called up um, Champagne Pocky and was yeah. like, hey, my boy's coming over, yeah. take care of us. And so I ended up getting an OG All pair right, right there like two weeks ago. So this, and these containers also, they are taller. This is what I'm yeah. admiring right now. That so is. this is your OG All pair? That's the OG All pair. So this one's a lot cleaner. Very clean. It's got the box. I think the size tag is still in there. Yeah, it's still attached, which is rare on these. Yeah, I was about to say, size tags definitely fall out on these as well. Um, what do you do about insoles? I know it's got like that red leather insole. Yeah, I love it. Um, do you switch it out or do nope. you? I keep it. Okay, that's all we So have I to... wore these today at Sneaker Oh, Con, that's right. I and I, I mean, I keep the original soles, insoles in there. I okay. love them. They're Dope. so comfortable. I feel like you're walking on a cloud in those. Dope. And for a shoe that's from 2014, it's like, it's kind of surprising yeah because a lot of people with like the newer polyurethane uh, mm -hmm. soles mm -hmm. very comfortable but yeah those are no, mad. The, the easy two is really comfortable mad comfortable i used to, yeah i got some i'll find i gotta pull up some videos and show some people it might hurt some feelings this one right here though we mm -hmm. were just talking about it tell us about these you had the listing on your phone or whatever happened just got these on ebay and as you can tell has a little bit of a different patina than you might see on some of the other <laughs> Oregon 3s. And um, turns out that whoever owned this pair, which their number is written on the shoe somewhere, it's on one of the shoes, one of the players, but washed them with soap. So the dye went all up into the elephant print, went into the uh, into the sole, mm -hmm. and they basically just like had to clean all that up. Just ruined it. I got a steal on them. I love them. I wear all, I wear all my stuff. Right. And I'm all about like patina. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, what the heck? Let's grab them. Got a steal on them. Let's just rock them. Have fun with them. So <sighs> that's so crazy. And it happened to be shoe. your size. I know. That's Eleven, that's like 11 and a half. Size. 11 and a half. What else we got down here? Ray got Allen? Ray Allen's. What you want me to pull? You want me to pull those or the Oklahoma 5s? Oh, whatever. Whatever you're feeling. Let's just. Like, I don't know. Whatever. It's up to you. Yeah, I don't care. Ray Allen 13. So. This was a drop that actually came out, um, but it was limited. It was House of Hoops only, right? It was only. I don't I'm remember. Think there was any other locations besides House of Hoops that got I don't out. remember. But either way, it was a really limited release. So it was, it's like a PE, but it came to the public. So you got the Ray Allen on the tongue. Tell us about this one. I've always just been a huge 13 fan because mm -hmm. like eighth grade was, you know, I was seeing them all the time, just loved it. My boy Nick, who's big PE, I mean, he's got Travis's, he's got mm -hmm. everything. I saw him at God Soul over in New York and he had them and they were my size. I'm like, it's just such a beautiful shoe. I love 13s, they're nostalgic for me. I love rocking them, they're mad comfortable. Definitely. And I just feel like I'm a big Ray Allen fan, love his game, his shot is just like water. It's and beautiful. then to see it on the tongue too. See so it on dope. the tongue. It was just one of those shoes, was not one of those like must haves for me, but mm -hmm. since my boy had it, I said, okay, what can you do for me? He took right. care of me and yeah, they came home with me. Do you remember like when they came out and like the pricing and everybody was like, Ooh. Got gotcha. you. No, it's just, it's just a Ray Allen piece. 
<laughs> but you remember that time though, like when they came out and it was like, people were like four or 500 bucks was like a lot. Yeah, I know. People were like, this is like, you're buying a grail at the time. At the time. And then, yeah, and it was just crazy to see that. And even though like, what are like a little over a thousand or something like that now, like yeah. with Warren's pairs. Yeah. But I, in my head, I was like, out of all these crazy shoes, like why are these not like that three, four, five thousand dollar shoe at least? compared to how the market is with certain other shoes. Look at everything though. Like there's certain shoes where I'm like, dear God, if I only had the foresight to know. You're right, right. I mean, this, I'd have two rooms like <laughs> this. You know what I mean? I just, I don't know. There's definitely a lot of things that I wish I took better advantage of, but again, you just, you just don't know. Yeah. But, but I, I mean, that's what I love too. Already, I can tell you're just getting what you like. Yeah. And it's, you accumulated these things over the years and you, you know, acquired this crazy and collection. I wear everything. Everything. I will be honest though, I haven't I haven't worn these yet. I have I've had them a year. I haven't worn them yet. Uh oh. So eh, busting them out we'll, soon now. Yeah. Now he's got the pressure on let's, them. Let's throw them on. We'll throw them on soon. So <laughs> here we post them next week. Yeah, yeah pull it out the Ray Allens. Okay, down here you got the Oklahoma fives. Do you have Oklahoma fives over there or is this the one? I got Oklahoma fives there, I got Oklahoma fours there, over Oklahoma there. ones there, okay. Oklahoma ones. So the room I'm still organizing, okay? Okay. So All everybody right. just be patient. Okay. Because um, everything, I just wear everything. So a lot of times I come home, I wear it, I look at it and I just, I, I throw it in a case. Right. So, um, Oklahoma fives, I went to college in Oklahoma. Oh, okay. Now it's making sense. So the Oklahoma four was my like all time PE grail and was my first PE. Really? So then after I got that, okay. being a boy from Chicago, being a Bulls fan, you got that red, yep. it's like, okay, cool. Like, yep. so and I was on coaching staff with Oral Roberts University men's basketball. Okay. So we would play OU sometimes. I remember going to the games in OU and we'd be playing and Blake Griffith would be. Yeah. You know, oh, he had. Oh, oh my gosh. Those are nice. Beautiful. Those are nice. And that's why I'm like the Cherry 11s were cool that they came out, but there's something about that crimson. Oh, definitely. That's just absolutely beautiful. And then like um, that wood grain on there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Those are, those are nice. What's next? Um, we got so you got you got the black Yeezy one, or is that the one that? No, I don't have okay, so I don't have I don't have the blanks. Are you working to complete the set, or is not it really? Like, not a fan uh, of it because okay. of the nylon. I, I like that you. these are leather. I like that. So the nets that. and um, it, I don't know. I just I preferred I prefer the leather for me okay. personally. I just don't buy things to complete. I buy things I like. Perfect. I like yeah. that. So, ooh, which one? Should we pull any of these? Or everything's good in here? Yeah. I feel whatever. like they can see. Can you guys see these good? Everything yeah. looks good on this side? We'll pull this one right here. I know a lot of people like these. The Nets, the Zens, like, that's my favorite one. This one? Yeah. yeah I love it. I love how the pink hits right there at the tip. It's yeah. just a nice little hit. Yeah. Um, but yeah. And, uh, when's the last time you wore them? Uh, probably about two months ago. Okay, dope. That's perfect. And you, how often do you wear them? I try to wear them at least every couple months, few months. Okay. See, that's more than me, bro. I, I would need, wear them more. I need to do that it's like, more bro, often. It's like, I try, look, like I wear everything. Mine are still so, wearable, but I'm like, ah, I feel like I'm not wearing them enough still. I mean, I know it's important, especially to keep that soul going strong. So I just try to make sure that I have a regular yeah. cadence. Yeah. Cause that was what? Oh nine, oh eight, something like yeah. Some, what was that, 2010? Oh, no, these was, were, cause these were, these were 14. Yeah, that was 09, I think. I think it's 09. I'm trying to remember, cause I wore them to my high school graduation in 2010. So I think it was a year before when they came out in 2009. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're right. 2009, yeah, yep, manufactured yep, December that's what it was. Yep. Cause I remember I got mine the year of, grad, like the beginning of 2010. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I finally got them on wearing these graduation. Good Bro, times. The execution on those are just absolutely insane. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yep. Gorgeous materials. Colorways are just sick. Just beautiful shoe. The Definitely. glowing sole. It's like, what the heck, man? It's I feel that. Awesome. So we got to move this chair out the way. Yes. Tell me about but this, this chair before I move it out the way. <laughs> so I have a couple of these chairs. Um, I, I, they sat courtside. These were courtside seats at the United Center. Crazy. Um, they were there for all six championships. Crazy. So, uh, one of my boys up on the north side, a big memorabilia collector. I, I, I saw he had some. I'm like, I gotta have at least a couple in the in the crib. So I feel like um, it's hard not to be a collector if you just, live in Chicago. Look at this. That's just, they don't make stuff like this anymore. I just want you to know that. So that's uh, that some like, high quality manufacturing. Right no, there. for real. That, I mean, this is the 90s, you know what I'm saying? It's way yeah. different than now. That's yeah, like, they would like take the chalk and boom, boom, that's your seat. Make right. sure it's on, it's printed on the ticket stuff. That's legit. Yeah. So, yes, <laughs> this is official 
Somebody's sweaty butt was sitting on this chair watching championships. And who knows who? I mean, yeah. you don't know. They, they, they were there for years. Damn. So we're gonna move the chair out the way. If the chair could we're, tell stories. This thing is heavy. Oh wow. There's I, that's what I said. That manufacturing. This it's thing amazing. Is nice. <laughs> Can we please get back to manufacturing courtside seats like that? Please. No, for real. Come on. Okay. Yeah. We got space over here. Yeah. So off white, we got dunks. Off white. Um, how did it go with the lots? Especially like, was it just like I'll just take one I can get, like whatever, like I want this certain colorway because there's 50 of them. I only got what I got on sneakers. Okay. I didn't. What number is this? Ah, uh, I'm trying to remember. Seven. Seven. Okay. So that was one of the ones, you know, when they were randomly giving um, right. EA. I think I got And that's 16. that's the one I got. Yeah. But yeah, got those on sneakers, got those on sneakers. Um, so again, it was just, you know, not a must cop for me by any means. Mm -hmm. I I did love the UNL, uh, UNLV colorway. Yeah, this one. I know. I just, good. it's one of my favorites. I don't have it in here, it's by the back door, but my daily beater is just the regular UNLV dunk. Okay. I wear it like crazy. Yeah. To the point where the leather looks amazing. Yeah. Because even though it's Makes like kind of, yeah, get that, it get gets that, that buttery combo. look. Yeah. yeah. I like that, okay. Um, what else over here? This is I, out the box already? Um, That is the trophy room, friends and family. That's over there on that side? right here. Okay. Yeah. So how did you go about getting that pair? I was just looking forever for this pair. Uh -huh. And I've always been a big fan of Trophy Room. I've been a big fan too of just how they execute with the box, with the court on the inside, with the card Super of the dope. Trophy Room. Like just yeah. the storytelling they did was amazing. Um, I'm, I'm fortunate enough today to be connected with mm -hmm. Trophy Room. I was not when I had these. Gotcha. Um, this was a must. Mm -hmm. The red on here, the quality of the suede, 223 pairs right. like i i mean come on yeah i have the blue pair the blue here it's being blocked by all the reimagines yeah. right now but um we'll, we'll move it out the way yeah yeah, yeah. It's, yeah it's there um it was just a must for me i love the shoe definitely i mean the, the night the trophy room here the, the nike ear i mean come on some people come say on. that like the blue pair is better what do you think i i love blue i am a sucker for blue you're yeah. gonna see a lot of blue in here the red with the light blue, mm -hmm. it just hits different. It's like that minty just. It just hits different. And every time I wear it, people are like, I have never seen those on feet. Right. So it's always like a conversation starter. Yeah. So yeah, definitely like blessed to have those. Line out, man. I love those. <laughs> I love those. And as I got sold in New York, they had like a basketball game. It was like make as many like shots as you could in a mm -hmm. row, whatever. And I, I was doing it like those and people were like, oh, like. Dude shooting hoops in the trophy room front and family. Right. You know what I mean? Right. I'm just like, yeah, no. It's nice. Nah, it's a fire yeah. shoe for sure. I love it. Definitely. Well, let's show these Gator 5s too sitting right here. We yeah. can these up. What, uh, what did you go about the Gator situation? Like, is it just like. It's like a weird nostalgic thing for me. So, one of my best friends, Kyle Colbert, he's a huge Gator fan. Okay. I spent a lot of time in Florida with him and his family. And there's just something about their blue. Mm -hmm. And it just hits. And again, it was not one of those must top things for me, but I just kind of was like, okay, let me get it. Let me see how I love it as far as the color. And mm -hmm. I absolutely loved it. That orange. I think it's so dope. Like if you look the real details of the shoe, like underneath it, like the elephant print throughout the upper and everything. It's sick. It's so dope how they put this shoe together. Like the OU was a must for me. Yeah. But like after I got this, I just, I absolutely loved it. I've actually been wearing this quite a bit. I think it's funny too, because the fives for the college series in particular are like, I feel like the most slept on out of all the numbers. Yeah. Like people talk about the fours or the sixes now and the ones, the different the threes. Yeah. But like people kind of never really talk about the fives. No, the print's so unique on it. Yes. I mean, just the way they texturize it. I mean, the, the tongue, on the tongue, yep. the Nike ear, I love them. Yeah, I think, I absolutely I think love them. that's definitely the most slept on model out of the college series as of right now. Yeah. For sure. I think, do you think these are more slept on right now? Or, so you feel like the sixes, like there's more demand on those right now? Than the fives? Yeah. Yeah, you think yeah, so? I okay. Think so. And I think it's not a crazy demand on the sixes either, but people are rocking with the sixes. When they see them in person, they're yeah. like, oh, these are fire. Especially like, like when, man, those UCLA sixes, bro. Yeah. That's, what, that's next on my list. I'm about to get those soon. Yeah, well, <laughs> I need those. Let's let's work together. Let's try to, let's try to oh, yeah, what size you need? 11 and a half? 11 and a half, 12. Let's okay. do a little You probably need an 11 and a half because they run big. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. What's next? We want to stay on this side or you want to go over um, here? 
it's up to you. I don't okay. know. Let's go. Oh um, yeah, we got more off white conversation yeah, yeah. right here. Yeah. So, so okay. So, 2020 Chicago NBA All Star Game. Um, of course, had to get these. I remember that. Yeah. I mean, Virgil, thank you. Like, come on, Fire. beautiful shoe. Yeah. Beautiful shoe. This, unfortunately, I was very blessed during All-Star Weekend. Mm -hmm. I got pretty much every single shoe for retail. I got the New Beginnings pack for okay. retail. I hit okay. it on Sneakers Pass. I got... Um, the, what was it? The white I got the, the threes. I got yeah. the ear. I got the shy. Yeah. I got the um, reverse bread. 85s. Yeah. I got everything for retail. This right. was the only one. I stood in multiple lines, multiple drops, couldn't get them. Okay. So it, I had to have it. It's just, like, I'm willing to pay the ticket because yeah. I got all the other ones for the That was one of the most amazing weekends in Chicago. Like, like it's it's a high bar. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah. So when it comes to that too, like with paying resale and retail and stuff, yeah. obviously you're heavily going towards retail. Yeah, bars. yeah. But then like, how do you make that decision of like, all right, bro, I'm paying this extra ticket just to get this shoe. Like, Only I if I genuinely feel in my, in my heart, DJ, and my discernment, <laughs> that I really need that shoe. And it's just, there's a meaning behind it. There's a moment behind it. There's something that stands out to me okay. that I'll, I'll do resale. Then you're like, yeah, yeah, I'm willing to do it. Yeah. Okay. That's a little too deep, sorry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the Chicago and then the black and blue yes. off-white too. Come um, on. Like, come <laughs> on. Guys. I love you. Come on. The attention to detail right. to make the sole look like a cracking vintage polyurethane sole yep. was just so dope. And how they and then how they did the mold from the old one. Exactly. And everything. Like the MJ signal. As soon as I saw that, mm -hmm. I was like, game over. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. Um, and it's honestly, heavy they are too. so jumper man, Chris, shout out my bro. He wore these, uh, sneaker con day one. And it's exactly what he's saying. He's like, I love the shoe, but it's so heavy. So heavy. Um, no, I think these are slept on. Definitely. The price right now on these is like really solid. And I'm like, why are people not spending more money on these? Like hyping them up. But again, it's not a problem, but it's crazy how sometimes shoes values don't represent like how dope they really are and all those different things. Bro. Oh, I know. I got, I got both. I like I like these a lot. The leather's so good. I know, and it's blue and black. I love how this hits. Those laces hit on that. So when it comes to switching up laces, I'm kind of just like lazy. So I just I like, keep most everything OG. I keep everything the same. I keep most everything just how it comes. Okay. But periodically, if I open the box, I see something. I'm like, okay, that's probably gonna be cool. Gotcha. We'll rock with it. So I see. I um, got a great story on these. Oh yeah, hit us with it. Prestos. So. <clears throat> few months after the Off-White MCAs mm -hmm. were released, I went into the Nike Lab, mm -hmm. which is what Virgil Abloh kind of established with Nike downtown Michigan Avenue, Chicago. Mm -hmm. He's doing a whole bunch of different events there, guest speakers, doing his uh, exclusive drops. Oh my God. So this shoe, what? This one came out 2018. So this would have been a year later. Okay. I'm in Nike Lab, the manager uh, saw that I was wearing the MCAs and he said I was the first person he had saw actually wearing, wearing the, the MCAs right. and he's like and I'm like bro I love them they're a shoe like I wear all my stuff he's like come with me takes my wife and I to the side door comes out with a box with these and a year after they release what? <laughs> and goes I want to bless you with these because right. Nike sent these to me to give to people that we felt are like genuine sneakerheads right. So then I, um, I'm like, oh my God, like, thank you so much. I think it's a beautiful shoe. What? And then he asked my wife, like, would you like a pair? She's like, no. I think I'm okay. Oh, I was like, I I was like no, no, she'll have one. And, <laughs> <laughs> and she's glad she did. Right. Yeah, so um, that was a dope story. Shout That's out. Pfft, you, you're real for that. Everybody's going to be like going to Nike, like, hey, who's pfft? Have you ever seen this guy? Oh, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, no. Sorry, I don't know who pfft is. Yeah. John. <laughs> Cornelius Pumperdinkle. All right, right here we got SBs and Dunks. So yeah. obviously heavy Jordans. Yeah. Heavy, heavy Jordans. Everybody asks me, oh, you collect these Jordans? I'm like, yeah, I got a lot of Jordans, but I got Nikes and stuff too. So yeah. what brings you to more of the, obviously the Presto was a great story, but you know, grabbing a couple of Dunks and stuff for the collection too. I think Dunks, they do an amazing job telling a story. Mm -hmm. Especially SBs. Especially SBs. Yeah. Um, 
I've never been a big SB guy in general because I didn't want to like be a poser. Got you. I'm not, I was never a skater. I was a BMX biker though. Okay. So Dave Mira, rest in peace. I was a Haro bike guy. Okay. I loved riding bikes, jumping off ramps, all that stuff. So I still like loved the culture and the shoes. Mm -hmm. And I mean, the Chicago SB is beautiful. I just, again, Chicago. Makes sense. Had to have okay. them. Okay, makes sense. Um, Jackie Robinson's amazing. Makes sense I just wish well. they actually did a better box. Yeah. Like, come on, you do all Tell this work story. on the shoe. Yeah. Make, make the presentation, put it all together. Yeah. Um, dunks are pretty much 70% 70 70 of the time, my daily wear. Okay. Just because I love low cut. But more like college color style. Like yeah, I like a lot of the college basic, colors. Yeah. yeah, real basic. Okay. Um, this one I have not worn yet. It will come out soon. These are fire. So good. I think these are just going to keep rising. More and more people are going to appreciate they it. They have to. The story. Like, and, it, and it makes sense why they should. I get it. I get it. I get it. They have to. Execution's absolutely be beautiful on these. Size 13. I need it. Who got me? I'm still looking for a pair. I wish you were here another day. We could have gone done some hunting tomorrow. Uh-oh. I know. We got to go. We got to go. Okay. Jordan 1s. We got some retro stuff here. And then you yeah. got some OGs over here. Some yeah. more OGs over here. Some yeah. sign stuff. I'm going to let you take this side. All right. I'll let you start popping them open because this is where it starts to get real. The... I mean, it all started with the airship, right? I don't understand... So early on, I mean, these were going for over a grand. I don't know how people slept on these. Right. And they were limited too, and people, yeah, I get you, go ahead. Released overseas, limited. Yep. And beautiful, absolutely beautiful shoe. And they did a great job on the execution. Again, I don't get it. They, the storytelling was there. Yeah. Um, but then, Box all of a sudden, the New Beginnings pack comes out and people lose their crap. Right. That's like, where were you then? Right, exactly. So. Love this shoe. I wear this a lot. Mad comfortable. Leather on them. Leather's great. Beautiful, soft. New Beginnings pack. Um, like I mentioned, All Star Weekend. I hit uh, Sneakers Pass. I was at cars.com. I was working there. I went there 10 and a half years, and their Wi Fi was amazing. <laughs> and I think that has something to do with why I hit on this because when I went, I don't know if this is 100% true, but they told me when I went to pick them up at Nike Lab that there was only like 13 pairs loaded up on the Sneakers Pass. Oh, so you was in there. Okay. So, I'm in there. love that shoe. Um, come on. Again, haven't worn it yet. It is going to get worn very soon. Yeah. Um, I, I try to get through everything, but come on, beautiful. I think too though, you don't gotta rush, you know what I'm saying? No. Wear it at your own time. Everybody thinks just because you got the shoe, you gotta wear it right now when you get it. Like, take your time. It's yeah. Cool. I'll respect when it. When it feels right. But new beginnings pack from the box to the story to the pamphlet to the fact that they're pairing the two that started it all. Right. right. I loved it. Absolutely it, loved I it. I think the only gripe that some people had, and I kind of did too, was like, Everybody wish they did the actual colors, the OG colors in it, because oh, they were doing that, bringing it back, and yeah. everybody was like, that would have been crazy if they would have did that. But yeah. at the same time, we still all loved it and respected it either way. That would have been sick. Hopefully it's in their back pocket. Right. That'd be amazing. But While it, we're talking about imagine it, imagine like, that, what? That would have been insane. Yeah. It was already insane. Yeah. For that. Just so you know, guys, Chicago NBA All-Star Weekend got really grimy. Like people lined up, people in line. A lot of people could have got their hands on the airship pack, mm -hmm. but then a lot of people messed it up. You had a lot of people from out of town that were trying to cut the line. They were mm -hmm. being rude. They mm -hmm. were being very ignorant. Yeah, they, they were, and yeah. they would just shut down the drops. So I feel bad because I feel a lot more people should have got their hands on those. Right, especially it's hard. Like you're from here. Yeah. So it's like for people like you from here, it's like. This is so dope. I want to be able to sit in line, get the shoe. Like we're a respectful sneaker culture here. I don't yeah. know if you've realized that or you sense that. I haven't been able to like, go to a camp out yet. But, but we, we're normally here in Chicago. We're very respectful of each other. A lot of people know each other. You'll mm -hmm. see them. You dap them up. It's cool. We're chill. All Star Weekend got crazy, <laughs> but I'm still got blessed. While we're on the topic of airship, yeah, I see these over here. Actual airships. Crazy. Um. I've been wanting a pair of these for a while. These are the gray pair. The blue, that's not original blue. That was painted okay. over time. So right now I'm just kind of going back. I mean, look how high that tongue is. Yeah, no, for real. 
but they're so dope. And um, I'm going back and forth, just trying to figure out, do I want to do some blue laces, do some cream? I don't know, we'll see. But what got is... you into more of like the vintage stuff, the older stuff, going back and retracking, doing those type of things? I think one, I was born in 84. Right in the middle of it. So like right like, when all that yeah. started. I mean, look, 84. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So I'm like, all right, I want to start collecting things that were started when I started. Mm -hmm. So, and I just have an appreciation for that. I mean, born and raised on the south side of Chicago, the shoe that started it all with Jordan here. Um, yeah, this is going to be great going through this stuff. We'll get there soon. Um, 85 cuts. Neutral grays, reverse breads, Georgetowns, black whites. A lot of people, and I don't get this personally. You tell me your opinion. Okay. Say they're uncomfortable. Yeah. You think the, they're uncomfortable? This is the most comfortable pair out of all of them. Okay. The black and white. I rock the crap out of the reverse breads. Okay. I love them. And it's funny because that's the only one I don't have. I okay. have all the other ones, but I don't have those yet. Okay. This was another retail. Uh, I hit two pair retail NBA All Star weekend. So, so that was that was a blessing. Good hit. Um, but I love them. A lot of people hate on the leather quality. Mm -hmm. I am gonna say this right here, right now. Yes, they are not this, but they are the closest thing to full grain leather that you're gonna see. It's not, yes. again, it's not this, but it's in the full grain leather family. Right. I'm out. Right. Yeah. They just don't know. I'm just saying. They just and, don't and, know. and look, we'll see. The more and more and more they're worn, we'll see how they break in. Yep. Um, I mean, there's there's so many ones. I don't want to. Oh, I don't want. There's so many things to go through. I don't want to bore you right now. So I love ones. Ones. Well, ones. Ones. Okay. One thing I do. Yeah. I haven't asked yet. Was yeah. like. So you kind of been immersed in the sneaker culture your whole life. Yeah. Just being around here, living in Chicago, yeah. right? But when did you like start taking it serious? You know how a lot of people like, oh, once I could afford to do it, yeah. that's when I started. Seventh or like, grade. Seventh grade. Okay. Seventh grade. Talk about the origin. Story. So, I went to the school on the south side of Chicago. Uh, kindergarten through second grade. Okay. And then stepped away for a few years. I was homeschooled. Went back to the same school, seventh grade. Okay. And when I started seeing my classmates in certain Jordans, I was like, those are fire. And I always <laughs> loved Jordans, but like once I was actually in a class with guys that had them, that's when I realized like, okay, I'm starting to get the bug. Yeah. Um, I will say though, the first Jordan that really, truly, I want to say made me a sneakerhead was the Ginger 14 Lows. Ooh, that's a good one. 1999. That's a good one. My, I went to the mall with my grandmother and she said I could pick out a pair of shoes. And I saw those shoes on the wall and I absolutely loved them for right. whatever reason. Right. And I got them and 150 bucks and 140, whatever they were. And we go and check out and she didn't realize that they were that. She thought they were like 15 bucks. <laughs> she misread the sticker, right. so she almost passed out, but it's my grandma, she's not gonna say no. Right. And um, so I wanna say that's the shoe when I tell people, that's why when they were released, mm -hmm. uh, retro Yeah. and the highs, I wish they were in the lows. Yeah. Um, I actually loved that. What do you think about the Laney High for? 14? I mean, come on. I think those are fire. Yeah. Ooh, and you got the OG. Yeah, I mean, I love this, come on. I, see, I'm just dropping shoes Hey tonight. man, we gotta work on the hands. <laughs> there we go. Come on. Yeah, those are clean, they're, bro. They're so clean. Yeah, those are clean. They're sick. But the Ginger 14 Lows are absolutely love them. That's definitely a great shoe for sure. Yeah. So um, that's kind of where the origin story began. Yeah, and I was then, like seventh, eighth grade. And then after that, you was like, okay, what can I do to make some money, get these shoes? Exactly. Yeah, like, okay. And my parents, luckily, they started seeing how important it was to me. And yeah. so then they started, like, instead of getting me like British Knights, they're yeah. like, all right, you know, let's get okay. with Jordan here and there. They got me these, the Rodman Converses. I absolutely love these. JC Penny, yeah. shout out JC Penny. Um, but the the Rodmans, this was, I got great memories with this shoe. That's what's I absolutely up. love this shoe. What um, uh? When did your foot stop growing to where you were like, okay, now I can collect? Somebody same just asked me that. I'm trying to remember. Mine was like sophomore year of high school. It was right around the same time. Okay. I want to say I don't. I feel like I was wearing 11 and a half, 12 for quite a yeah. while in high school. That's when things get serious. Yeah. When you see your foot stop growing, you're yeah. like, oh, I can really start building out my collection. I can get serious about this. Yeah. Cause then you know, like, I'm not gonna just grow out of it, and it's like gonna be. Because my problem is when somebody asks me that, I don't really have shoes from when I was in high school because I wore them all to the ground. Right, right. You know? 
like that. That's not one of the originals. I, I rebought it just for right. nostalgia purposes. Gotcha. I found one because I I would wear them outside and you would toss them. If we right. would have known that you know Ginger 14s were gonna go for 900 bucks, right. looking like crap, <laughs> right. I wouldn't have gotten rid of them. So I feel that. Yeah. So you know you accumulated ones over the years, and a lot of people in Jordan ones in particular was this Lance Mountain. Yeah, but the excellent. Yeah, he put the band. Yeah, I again, this was like a pre-owned one. Um, I, I, I would love to claim that I did that. I did not. I got this from my bro. I want to say this was from Casino Kicks out on the East Coast. Okay. And um, they were already like this. I loved it. Like, run it. I need it. Yeah. So when it comes to Jordan 1s, it's the easiest shoe to have the most of. I talk yes. about this with everybody's collection because nine times out of ten, that's the most of the model that they have. So yeah. how do you be selective with picking which colors you want and all these different things? Like, Again, it's either they have a story like the Chameleons here, All-Star. Great time. Okay, like I'm a big NBA fan. Yep. Beautiful shoe. I mean, look how look at how the color changes. The, yeah. the LED lighting is definitely helping. Um, but that's dope. I'm a sucker for blue. I love blue with shattered backboards. I mean, come on, it's just the quality mm -hmm. of it. It's like, come on, you know. Yeah. So the, um, the the whole story behind the shattered backboard and the fact that the quality on this is amazing. Mm -hmm. Same thing like with the reverse shattered backboard. I like orange. I mean, come on, fall, Halloween. <laughs> That's, I'm the worst with orange, bro. I just don't know why. I don't rock it normally, but you know, certain times of the year, I'm a big fall guy. I love the fall. It's one of my favorite times yeah. of the year, and it just goes with everything. Yeah. Hey, it makes sense though. No, I, I know a lot of people like it. Okay. So it's just yeah. Ultimately, it's if it, I'm more of a story guy, but you know, like with the top three Jordan ones, it's just I love that. I love when you just kind of put everything together. It's yeah. dope. Um, okay. So show us some of your Chicago inspired, inspired stuff. I know we got Trophy Room, we got Chicago, we got Black Toe, different yeah. stuff like that. I know, I know it was just getting good. I'm sorry we had to cut it short, but don't worry. Tomorrow we'll be back with the next episode. And we're going to be going through all of his Jordan 1s, the sneakers on the back wall, and a bunch of different PEs. And he's got some crazy grills when it comes to the 1985 ones as well. So don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next episode. I would never let you down. Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight-week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there. I hey, man, hey, the hey, only choice I like to make what I'm aware of. I would never let you down, it's in my DNA The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today I was made for it, it's in the DNA